All right, hello again, everyone. Welcome back to our playthrough. And it's interesting that this war score... Yeah, I understand. Uh, it popped up because we are indeed in the middle of a liberty war. And our armies, as you can see, are way north. Let me turn this volume down for myself here. Quite loud. Well, we're losing, or so it seems, because it took us a while to get up north and the Kaiser... Let's see, which Kaiser is this? I forget this guy's name. Kaiser Bruno. Bruno. Valencia Bruno. Uh, Kaiser Bruno was able to capture some of our territory up here uh, before we were able to make our way all the way up. But we have begun to capture it right back and our army as well as our allied armies are all close together and we've won a pretty good battle. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I last logged on here, but uh, I'm not sure which one of these armies we beat. I'm pretty sure it was the big one and they went all the way up here. So they're still trying to take out some of our territories. Uh, but our forces, along with our allied forces, I believe we now outnumber them. And so we can quickly turn the tide of this battle. This battle is very important because we need to lower the liberty or the crown authority of the Kaiser in order to kind of keep our kingdom together in case the queen passes away. Queen Matilda is now 61 years old. She's on her third husband. Stiabjorn, Stia, Stiabjorn, King, St whatever. Uh, <laughs> we need to maintain the the kingdom, and I'll show you why. Just real quick, uh, this area here, the Kingdom of Sardinia, which is not a title yet, will be created upon succession if we're unable to uh, get ourselves maybe the empire of Italia before she passes away, uh, which would be unfortunate because we'll have to go to war against our own brother. Once we start playing as Prince Rolando, I believe uh Setimio would inherit this area here and some others. And we'd have to kind of fight to get those back. So hopefully we don't have to do that. So without further ado, let's jump back into it. Get the time a rolling. And uh, we're going to keep our army uh, in this neutral territory after we take back this area and let their supplies... Uh, where are the supplies? Oh, here they are. Yes, yeah, so we need to let the supplies replenish uh, before we start marching north to take on this army again. So that is the plan. And I'm really just going to be focused on the war here. I don't... Uh-oh. Why did our ally do that? Who is this? Hopefully this army will march back down here a little bit. And we can take them on in full force. Looks like they're coming our way. Well, we're invited to a feast in Luxembourg, but we're not going to do that. See, we can create the Kingdom of Sardinia, and that is the reason, in fact, that... Uh, let's get some payment from him. There we go. That's unfortunate that that would happen, but... Well, we're going to do our best. All right. And here's that feast right next to where our battles are being waged. Oh, a new lifestyle perk. That is cool. So... 
Monthly income per stress level plus 10%. We don't really need that at the moment, but we do get stressed out pretty often. Uh, Republican ruler opinion, Republican vassal tax contribution. And what does this title give us? Tourship and holding Texas. So we need to get there. We got two more, three more to go before we can claim that. Pretty good. And here this army comes. Right, almost done here. Looks like these armies are starting to consolidate. We should be ready to move just in case. Oh, they're going to go back. It's a good time to fight, boys. Let's go. Let's get going this way. Let's engage this army. All right. Oh, what happened there? Come on. Looks like we're not going to be able to catch them in time. And perhaps, perhaps. Unsheathe those swords, soldiers. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Oh, just not able to get him. All right. Let's go back through our territory. I don't know what... I don't know where this army is trying to go, but we really need to defeat them in battle one more time. That would be great. As long as we're staying within our own territory... A missing village, lit only by a single candle, my finger pauses on an entry in the ledger. Something is not quite right. Soon I am searching through every record from the county of Cagliari I can find. At last, it is clear as day. It seems as if an entire village has gone missing from the taxation records. Oh. Okay, the tax collector in Cagliari must investigate. I shall travel to the village personally. Or pay it no heed. Nope. Mm -mm. Let's lead this investigation ourselves. All right. I think that's pretty close to home there. So, well, this this army is just fleeing us, and rightfully so, because we have a good allied army here. Come on, come on, get down here and join the fight. I don't know where they're going, but uh, we're not going to chase them any further. They just want to run. They're just going to keep running. Uh, we're going to head back north here. We're just wasting time. After days of travel, I find the village that is missing from my records. Not only is it thriving, absolutely thriving, but the villagers insist they do pay their taxes. Furatu, the barony's tax collector, has not been entirely honest. Oh, he's got questions to answer. Okay, so we could overtax them and gain 335 gold, which is absolutely insane. Or let's just confront this guy because we've got some pretty good gold coming in. I'm not too worried about gold at the moment, although 300 is quite a lot. Um, I want to confront this guy. Let's go right here. We're going to pause our army right there in our territory. And let's see. All right, there we go. 
plus 20 supplies per month right now. So let's let's make sure we're going to get some more supplies. Okay, here we go. Those funds were vital to uh, the defense of Cagliari. Feratu, the tax collector in Iglesias, is terrified. Not least because of the hulking soldiers I have brought to his manor. Oh, please, I will do anything to earn your forgiveness. You will be forgotten in the dark. I could use someone who owes me their life. A weak hook on him, no. Anything at all. How about counting worms and we kill him? That is quite a lot of money. Yeah. Is this guy important to us at all? 16. Hmm. He's our courtier. Um... What's up with our council? I think we have a way better... Yeah. Nah, we don't need a guy like this. Kill him. See you, dude. Okay, our allied armies are still getting after it here, it seems. Enemy army is closing in once again, but we do need some supplies, so I'm going to hold here for a moment. This guy just marched his way around this mountain and he's going right back up. That's quite an interesting uh, position he took there. We're just losing a couple percentages of this war at a time, which I'm not really too worried about. Okay, let's pause real quick. I'm going to take a look at county control still going up down here. Yeah, this is Cagliari down here. Okay, so this is where the the mayhem, the secrecy was taking place. Hmm. County development still going up here. That's great. Okay. Everything's looking good. We had... At the end of last episode, we had everything kind of pretty well in order, and I know we were focusing on this war. So, I'm just going to pray that everything else is going well for the moment. Looks like we have a decision to make at court, though. Secondhand glamour. Between our steward and our player heir finest raiments in the land, Rolando. Mostly because they ain't from this land, chortles Azone as I walk past his open chamber. His voice oozes charm, but even so, my other courtier seems unsure of the pitch. Almost new, just as good as new, and fresh from the trendsetters in Queen Mahout's court of France. Wow. These are what everyone in the Kingdom of France will be wearing next season. Those do look enticing. You pay 335 gold and gain 14 grandeur. Don't want that. Uh, we gain 150 prestige and lose 6 grandeur. We don't need foreign nonsense in my court. And who cares what people wear? And we get 35 prestige. Well... Queen Mahout, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but half the names in this game I can't pronounce correctly. Well, they both like us. I think we can, I'm definitely not paying him 300 gold. We don't need foreign nonsense in my court. Absolutely. That's what a real queen of Italy would say, I believe. The taxes levied on my peasants can be hard at times. However, as recent events have shown me, Life is hard. No kindness I can show will change that. I have learned so much. And we gain a lifestyle perk. Excellent. Because now we can pick this monthly per stress. And next we'll get at any cost. And we can sell titles. I don't know what titles we would sell, but we can do it. Okay. How's our army doing? Okay, good. We have 42. Where's our allied armies? Are they going to come back up here? I think we might as well wait until they're done with these sieges. 
Oh, Kaiser Bruno is being attacked by someone else also. Okay. Against a populist uprising. That is a great time for them to attack. Excellent. Alright guys, if you could hurry up and take these while we resupply. Uh, that would be great. Okay, these are hostile armies. We need to stay away from them. And we need to stay away from them and also let them attack the Kaiser, if possible. Okay. How are we gaining troops? Is this because of our resupply? That'd be great. It's not very fun to just kind of wait around like this, but it's kind of necessary at the moment just because we burned all those supplies. <gasps> Our counselor died. No. Our spy master. Oh, she was so good at being a spy master. Okay, next best is going to be Mayor Cassio of Empoli. And let's get him in there. We'll disrupt those schemes. Everything else is looking... Gosh, this Prince Bishop is just so good. Look at that. What's he doing at the moment? Religious relations? Can we fabricate a claim? Somewhere new, please? I think we have all of the purple ones already. Um, what can we work on? I don't know where the next best is, but we might as well just kind of keep working our way up this way now. We'll work on that one next. Here we go. Keep that going. Florence is now at a 25 development rating. That is great. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot to check the plague, actually. But it's way up here. We're doing okay. Okay. Alright, boys. We're getting close here. Come on. Nickname, the old. We are now known as the old. Oh my gosh. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My courtier, Eisenrich, says to me while maintaining eye contact. They call you Queen Matilda the Old. Not what you would call flattering, perhaps, but it's likely that you can do you can do anything to change it. It's unlikely that you can do anything to change it. For what it's worth, I promise not to call you that by name, Eisenrich says, and smiles. Okay, the old what? Preposterous. Okay, we're going to lose some prestige because of that. We are now Queen Matilda the Old. <laughs> oh, we are 62. I know, we're kind of like over the age limit here for medieval times, aren't we? <laughs> That's why I'm pretty concerned about our succession. Because we are indeed getting old. I think we're fairly healthy, though. Oh my gosh, okay. We've lost a duke. Oh, we have more supplies here. And someone has arrived. Duke Guamir. Gu Guaymar. Guaymar has come to sh pay homage to us, and we gain 50 gold from that. Excellent. I accept your generous gift. Thank you very much. All right, how are our knights? We have 11 knights. How many knights did they have? Let's go back down to this. Can I see? They have five knights. Oh, we should really win this battle if we, if we decided to attack them again. And there's a hostile army. 
They're running away. I think now is a good time to just make a run for the capital here. Let's go up through our own territory first. Uh oh. What are we doing? Okay, there we go. We'll do that. And then we'll go here. And here, like that. Okay, cool. Hopefully the allied armies catch on, start marching north with, with us. We're gonna just pass through here for a moment. And let's speed this up. Come on, allies. Finish what you're doing and get up here. Okay, he released our vassal. And he's now way down here trying to regain some of his territory. Perhaps taking on some of these other foes. He's got to choose now. Oh my goodness, another war. Independence war. Oh boy. Absolutely. I hope I hope we're not gonna we're gonna go weaken him. We're gonna win our war. And if they win the independence war, that is even better for us. Absolutely. Because that's what we really want is our independence. Uh, I wish I could join that. But we're gonna attack the capital here. And here our allies come. Excellent. All right, five months to siege the capital. Excellent. Okay, good work. This should, once we capture the cap the capital, capture the capital, say that again, uh, we should see a major shift in the war score. Okay. Somebody's left the Liberty War, but we still have a lot of troops up here, so... Shadow, Thunk, I'm at my table, reading through some reports sent to me from throughout the realm. Shadow hops up beside me. Shadow is our cat again. Uh, chasing the warmth of a sunbeam and curls up contentedly beside my work. I reach out to give her black fur a stroke, and she stretches luxuriously in response. A mighty stretch. Too mighty as it turns out. <laughs> Shadow rolls over and completely rolls over and completely off the table, landing on her feet with a haughty glare as if this was somehow my fault. She saunters away sulkily. Ha, you little fool. You gained dopey cat for ten years. Stress gain minus five percent. Ah, alright. That's good. I almost thought that the cat was going to roll off the table and be dead. I just, I didn't even want to read the rest of that. I'm glad that wasn't the case. That would have been hilarious. Okay, two siege, three sieges going on at once here. This is good. Oh boy. Okay. Going to do that from time to time. All right. All right, more storytelling. A creeping suspicion. There's something odd about my court poet, Alberto, but I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it is just my imagination running amok. Nevertheless, that ominous feeling is keeping me up at night. Spymaster Cassio must investigate. If he's hiding something, it will be revealed. 93% chance. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want any more stress here. If we can avoid it. Looks like this is our best bet anyway. So they're just not defending the capital, which is really interesting. They went all the way down here to reclaim some of this territory uh, that we we seized on our way up. A creeping suspicion continued. Mayor Cassio hasn't uncovered irrefutable proof of Alberto's guilt. He is a non-believer. That sneaky fiend. This information will surely prove useful. We've learned of his secret. All right. So he's not a believer in our faith. And almost halfway into our siege of the capital. This is going well. 
Okay, we're doing well on our sway scheme against Countess Mariana. So who can we sway now? Let's try to sway the Pope again. Uh, definitely need that. Oh, he's got plenty of gold. So why can't we ask for gold? I want some gold. Yeah, base reluctance. So we need to get some... Uh, uh, because we're waging war on someone of our own faith. Yeah, that's interesting. We'd be able to ask him if we weren't at war against the Kaiser right now. Okay, well hopefully soon because he's got a lot... A lot of gold there. Did he weaken himself? Did he get rid of some of his army? I don't think so, but... Why are we so strong now? We might have to put the Pope and Rome in our sights fairly soon. It's always been the goal. Uh, I'd like to get it because it's very rich land. We'll set ourselves up for success there. Inspired person. Okay, let's take a look at that. What is this? Adventure. She wants to go to Western Africa. There's always something good that comes out of these. So let's see how much it would cost us. 149 gold. All right. Go for it. Let's see what she's good at. Decent prowess. Diplomatic and strong stewardship. So, okay, we'll keep that in mind as she goes to West Africa. All right, boys, looks like they're doing good on the siege down here. That's great. All right, we're not going to assault the fort here. A scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Well, we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting against my son, Satimio. All right. Well, let's expose the scheme. The Kaiser is going to have to go to war down here against these armies. Or are those his allies? I might be tripping. I don't know. I was hoping those armies would attack him. Inspiration funded. The time has come for me to depart upon my adventure, my queen, my beneficiary, Anastasia. She bows to me as well as she can while weighted down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep an eye peeled? for during my journey. I want to possess something truly unique. An exotic animal, a skull or a hide. A trinket from a material you cannot find here. A tapestry or artwork that makes me wish I was there. Trust your instincts. Bring me something great. I think maybe like a trinket made from a material we cannot find here. That sounds kind of cool. Okay, we're getting close here. Seven days, six, five. Let's slow down time. And two. Okay, huge swift shift there. Amazing. Excellent. Okay, what's going on? Don't like that it does that. And we're going to go right next door. Actually, let's go back down here. We'll see if he dares come back up this way. We're going to go take our territory back here. hoping we'd get a little more out of that but we need to focus on these particular counties here and we'll just work our way back up oh 
All right, let's see it done. So we got a claim on another county there. Okay, more people plotting. All right, let's, you know what? Let's check factions real quick. There's no factions targeting us. Okay. Okay, and this independence faction uh, wants independence. I wish we could have joined that, but we were more powerful up here, so want that lower crown authority. So I started the Liberty War opposed to an independence war because I wasn't aware of our succession problem and the kingdom of Sardinia being formed uh, as I wanted lower crown authority because I wanted to consolidate our lands in the, a couple of these places here uh, that we don't yet own, like just a couple counties kind of like sporadically throughout our kingdom. Bandits on the road, inspiration. My liege, the adventurer Anastasia sends word. The servant exclaims, holding out a letter. For ten days and ten nights, me and my party has been hiding. The bandit lady Maram has set a blockade on the road we must travel. What do you advise? What do you advise? I feel like that should say advice. Caution? Or should we fight them, trusting God to keep us safe? Signed, Anastasia. Let's see. This Lady Maram is super low on prowess. What is she thinking? She's she's the bandit? Keep laying low. 11% chance. No guts, no glory. Make them pay for wasting my time. They will boil and clean Maram's skull and send it to you to use as a court artifact. Oh, that sounds so cool. 32% chance that'll happen. 60... Okay, so 32% chance that we bravely slay Maram. 67% chance that we successfully drive them off. And... 0% chance that Anastasia will get wounded or killed. Wow. So yeah, we're going to go no guts, no glory. Make them pay. Maram gains a trait wounded. The artifact produced will be of slightly higher quality. Okay, so we didn't slay her, but she has fled. That is awesome. That's cool. Another schemer. It is my son, Satimio, that is plotting against my steward at Zone 8. Satimio, what? Why? For what reason? What has Adzone been doing that is so bad? Jeez. Okay, we got some prisoners here. Let's, uh... Let's check that out. I always forget where I need to look for prisoners. Courtiers? Yeah, here we go. And let's get... I don't really care. Dieter. Who are these people? Uh, let's just get a weak hook. Yeah, I don't really want this guy either, so we'll just kinda get the hook and then make him pay for the hook. All right. Excellent. All right. All right. Okay, we're going to win this here. All right, almost there. And we need to go up to this fort now. We're, we're still okay on supplies, so unless we need to stop and resupply, we're going to keep working towards our war score here. I want to end this war as quickly as possible. Your war score is at 100%. You're now able to enforce demands. Uh, it's not, though. Why is this? Why is this here? Why is this here? Hold on. Okay, but we're not at a hundred. 
Something just happened there. That was weird. Let's keep going. There's no chance. They're getting weaker and weaker down here. They're probably well out of supplies. Well, this is all their territory, so that wouldn't make sense. But I feel like if we're just going to wrap up these next few sieges, and we'll be on our way to a victory. Let's try to do this within this episode. We can end this war, perhaps ask our head of faith for some gold, get into some major development, maybe down in this region here, since no matter what happens, I'm going to take this territory back. It would just be nice to not have to do that for a whole episode or two. That's all I'm saying. And like I, like I was saying before, uh, I was doing the liberty because I just wanted a lower crown authority because it's actually not a bad thing to have an emperor on your side. Uh, but now that our territory is getting quite large um, and we want to take on Rome, I want to form the kingdoms under the Empire of Italia and then maybe work our way kind of towards Croatia because France is quite powerful at the moment, or at least territory-wise. They look look to be quite powerful, but if we can get a, a hold of Croatia, and even Calabria, yeah, they're spreading down here. Oh, we gotta handle Calabria. We're gonna have to handle them. That's a lot of territory. We could just work our way down the peninsula, leave them to fend for themselves in, uh, in Africa there. Hmm, okay. Well, one step at a time. I won't get ahead of myself. The Duchy of Burgundy. Uh, that is nearby, isn't it? Burgundy. Where is Burgundy? Duchy titles. Burgundy. Upper Burgundy. <gasps> oh my gosh. And our husband died again. Oh, the king. Sheesh, Louise. We got it. We need another husband. He's got 30. All right. We're just going to keep getting married. He's 45. He should last us a little while. We're not having any more children here. We just need someone to manage the realm. Because as you can see, that hurts us by two domain there. Alright, there we go. And this guy's so good, we can actually have an extra if we want. Where was Burgundy again? Burgundy is here. Okay, part of France, I believe. Yes. Interesting. Oh, well, this is taking quite some time. I don't want to move too fast because then we're going to miss out on some other aspects and details. So, hmm. Let's see how this affects the war score here. Once we grab this, we're going to probably have to... Where is Cologne? Ah, uh, Cologne. <gasps> 92%. Oh my gosh. Pope Gregorius not, not swayed. Siege 1. And that was the biggest one there. Uh, just want to open that back up. The next biggest one... If we just go straight for claves, uh, we should get 100% on the war score. Okay. Well, that's good news. That's good news. This Liberty War has been an absolute success so far. And unless something wild happens, uh, we're going to win this. Ooh, and we got a little allied army down here doing something going on in our territory. 
I will worry about that later. Yeah, unless something wild happens, we're going to win our Liberty War. And we have severely weakened the Kaiser. Hopefully, the Independence faction can win and we all gain our independence. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Like, if only the the people who join that faction get their independence and everybody else stays under him. But I'm hoping... And if not, if not, then we're just going to join the independence faction right after this and probably do it all over again if we have to. But a lot of things we're still looking forward to in this playthrough. And the main goal is just to consolidate the Empire of Italia and form, actually consolidate and form that Empire title. And that way, no matter what happens our player will always be in control of all the kings and queens under them. And once we have that, then we can really, really expand and start taking the rich territories like Rome and working down the peninsula. So let me know what you think. I probably missed a couple details by focusing on the war there, but if you've got any advice, as always, drop a comment and I read all of them and I always take your words into consideration as I play through. So thank you very much and looking forward to the Liberty War, I believe part three next time and hopefully the end of the war. So as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.